so hello folks so actually this is a test I am filming simultaneously with my Canon EOS 80D and my Canon PowerShot G7X so I'm trying I'm trying out this experiment whereby I shoot two different video footages but of the same scene of the same subject me and then I will um, in editing mode in post-production editing what I will do is that I will um, cut the two different footages and I merge it into one you know I take a bit from the from one or the other and then I merge it into a single clip and so this is what I'm trying to do um, what else do I have to say do I have any updates well yes I think I have some updates to share because the last time I filmed I think I was in my third week into my spring clean right and I had managed to clear out or to clean thoroughly my kitchen I had also managed to um, yeah to clean the living room the dining room the terrace and then the lobby and the lobby was what was the big headache because I had so many books and like I said I find it very difficult to detach from my books you know I have this emotional attachment with my books that when it's time to separate from these books I find it very difficult to do so so I adopted a strategy a system whereby I did the sorting out you know I went through all the books on the bookcase I left those that I hadn't read and that I all those that I had already read but wanted to read again and then um, I took out all the ones that I knew that I would not read because some of them honestly the knowledge is so stale like some of the books dated back to I don't know 2000 2003 and because knowledge unless it's a classic knowledge you know changes so fast especially where computing is concerned that pff, there's no point in holding on to these books so what I did was that I put them all into um, cases boxes plastic cases that I purchased and um, and so the next stage would be to sort out the ones that I think I can give away to the local library the other day when I walked down to the groceries I saw that they had converted the old telephone booths into mini um, serve self-service libraries meaning that you had people who come and deposit books and you know people are welcome to borrow the books and then they are also welcome to you know share their own library of books so it's a kind of exchange and I thought that was a very good idea so the next time I go to the co-op I will take a few of my own books the old ones and I just put it there and see what happens but that way you know I get to recycle um, the books and I think that's a, a terrific idea and what else can I update you on um, yes yeah, so this is where I stand with my um, with my spring cleaning so then the next part of the spring cleaning will be to go through all my clothes because I have so many of them but there are so many of them that I don't wear so <clears throat> is to go through my clothes and to sort out um, the ones that I definitely will not wear any longer the ones that I'm not so sure whether I will and the ones that I do know that I will wear so I'll put them into these three um, groups stacks and then I'll try out the maybes the ones that I think I'd like to wear but I'm not sure 
and then I will decide whether they go to the pile of those that I would I'm likely to wear again and those that I certainly know I won't and then that way that also goes into cases and then from there I will just put them into these disposal um, how do you call them they are disposal uh, containers in these containers whereby you can recycle clothes and then I'll just recycle them and then maybe it will have a second life so yeah this is uh, where I stand in my in my goal to uh, spring clean and using this quiet COVID period to do so. I must admit that uh, since the COVID lockdown that started for us in mid-March, I haven't gone into town, meaning into the city center of Geneva. I have just stayed around locally, so it means that sometimes I walk down to the grocery shops to pick up a few items or I go and walk by the by the lake you know or you know I take a walk around my neighborhood but I've never actually used my car to go beyond my neighborhood and so now that the authorities are easing off on the lockdown measures that were in place um, from mid-March because now gatherings of up to five people are allowed outside the family or the household. Um, people can go to shops and can go to restaurants and but of course the social distancing is still in place the same measures are still in place so it's two meters apart you know whether you eat or you stand that is still um, in place and um, yeah but I haven't been into the city center of Geneva to see what it's like actually to see Geneva slowly come out of this lockdown uh, situation and easing back into there will never be the normal but the next normal or the new normal you know so the plan is that um, um, the plan is to um, the plan is to go to town um, on Monday because Monday for me is a holiday and it is to therefore um, um, is to therefore see uh, what the new normal is like, what the new normal for Geneva is like, and uh, and the adjustments. And so that would be interesting. And of course, as usual, I'll take you along with me uh, to show you my Geneva, the city center, the two main streets basically where you know this is our high street for shopping you know and uh, shopping high street like you do have in London you have Oxford Circus Piccadilly Circus Marble Lodge I mean that basically for us it's they're just two streets you know Rue de Rome, Rue de la Confederation you know voila so I'll, I'll take you with me um, it's true that now shopping isn't my priority, you know, I've just come to adopt this philosophy thanks to COVID, I think. It has given me a new appreciation of time, of money, of effort, of, um, of um, yeah, but especially of time, you know, that once you lose it, you dispense of it, it's gone and it's gone forever. I guess you can say the same for money. But money, you can always earn it again in some other way, but time, it's really gone. So I'm very particular about how I spend my time. And so I would like to rediscover my Geneva all over again through a new optic, a new lens, through the lens of post-COVID, 
through the lens of um, the new normal, what it, that means, what that looks like. I will visit some museums, I will visit some uh, restaurants, I'll visit, um, of course, the streets, and just to see what this new or next normal is, is about. So, of course, as usual, I will bring you with me. But looking now at the other two cameras, I'm not sure that they have the same settings because on this side, I look very, very bright. And on this one, I don't look so bright. So I'll have to check the settings again. But this is indeed a test just to see how, you know, what it looks like or how I can use the two cameras together. And so on my Canon EOS 80D, I have attached um, a mic. It's a Rode, um, I believe it's a stereo mic. And um, with my Canon GX, G7X, you know, the, the um, microphone is built into the camera, it's a built-in microphone. I see that um, there is the GX7, GX90D, which uh, is, uh, has a re resolution of 4K. And, uh, but I also saw another one, which was the, I think it was the 6D Mark II. And even though it doesn't have a 4K resolution, but it still has a full, full it still has a full HD resolution, but you know, the picture quality is higher than the, the pixels in the ATD. But no, it doesn't run on, on, um, it doesn't run on, it doesn't have the 4K resolution. So I'm, I'll see, I'll still take my time and, you know, look for a good camera. But in the interim, I just will continue with the two that I have, which is um, my ATD, EOS ATD, and my Canon PowerShot G7X. So I will merge the two footages. I'll edit it on my mobile phone using Adobe Premiere Rush because I haven't used it in a while and then afterwards I will do a setting another editing but this time on Adobe Premiere Pro and then I'll compare the two footages the two different films because I won't cut at the same places so they will actually be two originals and then and then we see how how that uh, goes so, mm, yeah, mm, mm. So, so I will end this video soon. I'll just give it 15, let it reach the time code of this video. I'll let it run until 15 minutes and then I'll edit and see how how that went. Voila! <laughs> ah, I'm never sure with the focusing. I'm never sure how good or bad it is. I 
I just love filming. I really do. Oops, I've passed the 15 minutes, so I'll let you go and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.